Conjunctions, Los Angeles, 1984. And then there was Chubana's father, who was back from prison, only two days out, and he was back to breaking her mother's nose. She was back to running away from him. Chubana was back to knocking on my apartment door to get in. Her dad was back to chasing her mom with a machete. Her mother back to hiding in a garden shed across the street to get away. Us kids back to watching the whole scene unfold from our murky second floor apartment. Like the shows we saw on TV, there was a good chance she would escape the bad guy. And as luck, fate would have you had it, just like the movie we snuck into last week, A Nightmare on Elm Street, her mother emerged with the blue and red lights of the police. She had blood all over her, but she was alive, the final girl. She survived. But like all survival stories, there was a cost. That same night, Chubana and I fell asleep in my tiny twin bed together, but when I woke up, she was gone. My mother and I went to her apartment. They took only the clothes on their backs, the blanket her grandmother sent from the reservation, and a Connect Four we used to share. Their home was still in place, like a dollhouse I wanted. Even the sink had dirty dishes in it. But they were gone. They never came back. Years have passed, and the garden shed across the street still has red spray across it. From the apartment, you could swear it was spray paint, a miserable work of art.